Welcome back to Alien Isolation. We will be exploring the station again, and we'll pick up where I left off. Let's get started. Well, uh, as far as I remember, the last time the alien was, uh, he was really after me that time. And those Joes, they're no joke. But we uh, will see if there's any more of them. They seem to randomly spawn in areas that you've already been. And last time there was three, I usually only encountered two at the same time. So we're here in main or reactor maintenance, right? Yeah. Now, uh, as far as I know, he can't really, he hasn't came down yet, right? No. He always has that sound cue when he comes down. This will be a pain. This always makes me so nervous. He's just gonna like drop down behind me. Ugh. Sorry if I'm a little quiet there. He always gets super nervous. Can't collect any more of that. Now we're gonna go take this transit elevator to engineering. I'm just kind of going around to the areas. There's an Astromo log this way too. So if you're trying to find those on your own, this is not the series for you. I've already found them all and I just like to go back to the same areas. But if you are trying to find them and you would like help without doing it on your own, I could make a tutorial of finding all of them sometime. One of them is in a later part of the mission and you can't get there unless you're continuing the story mode the campaign. Now, I don't know if he can actually come in this area. I can't remember if there's a vent up here or not. Now, I know he can get in the next area. Which is also where an Nostromo log is. Um, I'm gonna loot in here. Because when I did my playthrough, my last playthrough, I didn't loot as much because I had full loot. And I think I'm close to that again. See, there's uh, some ammo. But I, I guess I didn't collect the bolt gun? What? That's odd. I already had it. It's kind of weird. Does that mean there's more bolt gun ammo? I can't loot you. Bonding Agent Max. Um, this is all of just lore. Wait, what's the folder code? 6832. I, w I just want to see what happens if I enter it again. Nothing. That's usual. And if you guys would like to see me do a full playthrough on hard or nightmare difficulty, I will sometime. I've never played through on nightmare. I have on hard, but not nightmare. bizarre I've got to be very careful I'm used to playing this on PC, so <clears throat> doing everything with the little thumbstick is kind of difficult for me, especially on Sony's controls. Never really was a big fan of the DualShock. Just personal preference, that's all. 
I mean, I'm not. I don't really like care about the whole console wars thing. I mean, I feel like everyone should just have their preferred platform to play on. No one should like bash each other for it. I like PC personally, but there are some things that are convenient about console. Like my PC is a pretty big tower build. I'll show you guys sometime. And I don't like lugging that around, but a console I can pack up in my bag and take places. Some flamethrower fuel. Better go back and save. I always save a lot. Just personal preference. You know, because, like, if the alien kills you and you don't save, you get set back a lot. There's some crazy things you can do in here, too. Yeah, I guess I can't go that way. Because the, uh, what's it called? Real question is. Can he get in here? I heard him. That was scary. Holy crap, I was not expecting him to get here. I didn't think he could get here. Alright. That was terrifying. <laughs> now that I know that. not much like else to do in this area because if you go back to the other place uh, the security ar alarms always set off the alien and you can't turn off those alarms or I guess the security cameras usually you can turn them off but those ones you can't for some reason it's kind of interesting they're just interesting in every kind of way Let's go back. I'm sure there'll be Joe's waiting for me. Central reactor. I could go look around the reactor core again, of course, too. It's kind of fun. So where'd the sound for the elevators going? That was terrifying. Some Joes. I knew they'd be there. Just never expect it. And if you fight them too much, the alien's just like, I know where you are now. Yeah, he can still go back out here. And you can still take the transit car too.
Now the alien cannot get in here for some reason. I guess there's just no vents for him to drop down out of. But it is definitely an interesting thing. go this way this is probably <coughs> hopefully he can't get up here that that'd be terrifying it's always crazy to encounter him in the vents <laughs> when you don't expect it. And yes. Oh, you guess you can't drop down from up there. He drops down. Oh man, he is definitely around here. He's right over there. get out of there man this playthrough has been crazy I usually do not encounter this many enemies like when I go and explore it puts on a better show for you guys but it's still fun it's fine I'm pretty pretty good at this game I can get away from it Man, that hospital level, though, that's insane. The quarantine. That mission is absolutely crazy. There's a couple things you can do over here. You can go back through the hospital. This isn't the right way. Um. There is... We could go to the, the hospital part, like from the earlier mission. Just like, explore. But, you guys have probably already seen all that if you played it. Plus, I do actually plan to do a long uh, playthrough eventually. I can complete it pretty fast. 
Or some shotgun shells. Sometimes you can run into other survivors. Now there is another Nostromo log this way. It uh, requires a uh, an ion torch, I believe. Oh, I've already gotten through here before. I must have done it when I was playing through the campaign. And here it is. Wait, wrong button. It's, um... I believe it's this one. I don't know why it's so quiet. The audio log was really quiet for some reason. Hey, right, there's this room. <clears throat> I don't know if a lot of people know about this room. Well, I mean, people know about it. I don't know if a lot of people know how to get here. You have to get the level three uh, chipset for this. Level three data cell. Could go this way, but I think I'll go this way. There isn't really much to do this in this hospital, but um, there is like a couple areas that you, you probably didn't get to during the mission just because you're trying to hide and get away from the alien. You can scare him away, so you can't explore this er these areas. Now there are usually two androids after you've explored for a little bit that show up out of nowhere. And when I say show up out of nowhere, they like show up out of nowhere. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have to, you have to go manually. So I'm going to have to go through all of this to get to the actual part. So this is where, at the end of the quarantine mission, where you have to climb up the ladder when the bombs explode that were set there by weights. Oh yeah. There is also another Nostromo log over here. It does require the gas mask. So you guys are going to have to get that by completing the uh, mission where you have to go and talk to Apollo Core. And also requires an ion torch, which you'll have by the time you get the gas mask. I'm getting over a little cold here, that's why I'm coughing. I'll try and keep that to a minimum. Oh wait, it does not require the level 3 sat though. You want to do this quickly because the alien will not leave you alone. Sounds like the system check went okay. Some ducks still need rewriting, but as I keep getting told... There's not much we can do about it whether Nostromo is in the air. Parker's coming up with the sign-off sheets. But I know Ripley wants to chew his ear about the secondary load unit. I'm gonna stay out of it for now. They know what they're doing. Dallas, Nostromo, Captain, signing off. Alright, that was one of the logs.
Now with this, sometimes there are androids that run these halls. Actually thought I heard one. I thought I heard it, you know, do that hmm thing that they do. Now, when I cycle back to this area, there might be androids. Is this it? I believe this is it. Now I'm going to start uploading my videos on Wednesday. I'll try and record before then. And if I get multiple videos, then I'll upload multiple videos on Wednesday. But I don't have a lot of time for editing, so that's why you're getting these unedited videos for now. Once I get better editing software, I will start editing and working on my presentation for you guys. And who is here? I'll show you the area that you probably didn't go when you were playing the campaign, the main campaign. Always gotta hug this thing. Now the alien loves this area. I know what I mean love, he loves. On duty doctor, right? Is this it? I believe so. There's also some lore here, I believe. No audio. You can read these if you want. I'll try not to waste too much time with that, though. And you can activate this. I've always I've always died doing this for some reason I don't know usually when I use that security code I die or the access tuner but looks like we made it this time Oh yeah, there's this. Um, the code for this is the same as that door. It's 1702. But I've already done it. I usually just go straight for the actual door, though. I usually don't waste time here. During that mission. Where we go in around these hallways avoiding the alien. And this is 1702 as well. Takes you down here, which this takes a level three access tuner. This is obviously where Morley died, or not Morley, uh, Coolman. I don't know why I always think Morley. It's Coolman. Morley's already dead before Coolman. Get some supplies here. And yes, if you use a debug, uh, debug checkpoint, you can actually get Coolman killed by the alien. Roger it's actually kind of interesting. Make sure all your patients are prepped for the decommission. That means full documentation, personal effects, and any meds they'll need during the journey. I'm scheduling shuttles to transfer them to the medical ship for transportation. I strongly recommend placing the more volatile patients into early hypersleep prior to transfer. I don't want to hear your complaints. I don't have the manpower to guarantee protection for everyone if any of them decide to kick off. 
farms or a hypersleep, I don't care. Just get them some Duke. That's just the way it's gotta be. Waits up. Now I think I saw some Joes. Which if that's the case, I'm gonna bail. I don't like fighting Joes with the alien around. May do it for your viewing pleasure, but I personally don't like doing it. I waste a lot of time. I'll cut away through here. Oh, I think that's just the alien. I do not know what the alien is doing because it loves me for some reason. It's so unpredictable. What's he doing? I don't better not mess around with it too much. And <clears throat> there's a speedrun tactic you guys can use. Um, if you're trying to complete it within a certain amount of time. Where you go to that terminal and watch that little cutscene where Morley's talking on it, you can actually skip that whole section. You do not have to go there. You can skip through there. I'll show you what you do. It's a little speed run tactic I figured out. I'm like, I don't like wasting time dealing with that. I'll save just in case the alien decides to kill me. Oh yeah, you can shoot those and sometimes catch the alien on fire. I had it happen once and actually saved me. So if you have no other option, try it. You shoot the little gas canisters. They can hurt you though, so you gotta be careful with that. So here's this. You can always come back here and get supplies if you need it. But instead of going in here and using that terminal, you can actually. And I'll take the route that I'd take because normally this is on fire, right? So you go around here. and you walk all the way around and you don't have to go to the terminal like I said you can just start out where that room is that you drop down from and walk all the way over here and enter the key card oh yeah and w if you save your supplies early on you can actually build a molotov when you get the blueprint right here Scar keep you from dying in this next part. And some sensors. Hmm. 
Hiding is only ever a temporary solution. Yeah. It's pretty obvious. Because if you're playing on a harder difficulty, he will find you. he doing? Hmm. Well, that's all for now. Let's see. Sometimes you can find uh, ID tags, I can't remember. There's usually like one on a chair somewhere. But, that's all for today guys. Um, if you like this series, remember to leave a thumbs up and comment. Just let me know how you like the series. And tell me, and if you're a YouTuber and you make content, let me know some helpful tips. Thank you.